Hello everyone. We got some exciting news today. A seismic activity got a little bit out of hand tonight, and one of the earthquakes was 5 in magnitude. That earthquake, which hit at 2 am in the morning, could be felt all the way up to Budarthandr, which is 133 kilometers away, and in Vik, which is 168 kilometers away. As I said, the seismic activity was crazy last night, and a lot of earthquakes over three were detected after the big one, and three of them were four or more. It was all around the area we are very familiar with, Fagradalsfjall. The nearest town to that location is Grindavik, and the five magnitude earthquake last night was caught on video, but you can only hear the sound since it's so dark. Have a listen. The people of Grindavik are shaking the most, and some of the residents report being tired of the situation, but there is nothing anyone can do to fix that, unfortunately. In the heat of the seismic activity last night, a volcanic agitation was detected, like the one detected back in March 3rd, but this time it lasted for only 20 minutes compared to the several hours it lasted last time. We call it agitation when so many earthquakes hit that it is hard to distinguish between them and this design of an eruption could be happening in the next few hours. That didn't happen like last time, but it seems like we could be very close to an eruption. There is not a 100% chance that it will happen. After the earthquake last night, some of the roads were checked for damage, but fortunately everything was okay. There are some updates on the possible locations of an eruption. There are seven possible areas. It could happen that some of them would erupt at the same time, in different areas, but that is not very likely. It's expected that this could continue like this with the seismic activity going up and down, and in the end we could see an eruption or get a large earthquake. That's all speculation though, nothing can be confirmed, and it changes every day. So all we can do is wait and see how it plays out. I'll be updating you on here on this channel daily, so if you want to watch this with me, you should consider subscribing in case you forget the name of the channel. I want to thank you all for the support and feedback you have provided as it helps share the videos and I'm sure a lot of people want to know what's happening here in Iceland, as this does not happen often. And on that note, I will end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see some of you again tomorrow with the latest news. And if you want YouTube to share this video with others, you can like it, as that's what the YouTube algorithm looks for. Thanks for watching.